half because raging. Mm -hmm. it, okay, so what is that? Uh, 17 so seven, eight? seventeen half would be uh, nine. Nine. All right, so I take four damage because someone missed me earlier. And that gets rid of my temp HP. All right, and roll a strength check with advantage because you're raging. You're probably gonna That's win. A save, sorry. Didn't mean you won anyway. All right. You you won with the natural rolls. Does that mean Lily can pull it to him? No. The harpoon just gets pulled back without her. All right, and this here hooks its head up again. And it tries to cast another spell. It's too far away from me. God damn it. What's the range on it? 30. I thought counterspell was 60. Yeah. It's 30. No, counterspell is 60. Is it? I have it down as 30. I'm looking oh, it up right sniper. now. I'll have it up actually faster than 60 feet. I think I break down 30. You know what? Bring it. What mm -hmm. the hell? This is my mm -hmm. roll. It stops the spell. Mm-hmm. Told person. And it looks rather irritated right now. And it raises its other it raises its hand up again this time and it points directly at Falana. Ah shit. <laughs> <laughs> Two bolts of eldritch energy fly out. Oh my god. <laughs> it was trying to hex. No, it wasn't actually. It was oh. trying to slow. Then how is it casting two spells in one turn? You know, because I said so. Some classes <laughs> have that ability. Because I said so. Uh, you know, like sorcerer. Yeah. Because it's a mon. Because it's a monster. There we go. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and you, it's gonna miss both times. And even if it did hit, you would have taken only two force damage. <sighs> oh, you want to play that way, huh? <laughs> I'm doing shit for rolls right now. It oh is Casty's turn. Casty is going to om nom nom. And miss. She that'll hit, I believe. That'll hit. And she will deal I have I don't have it open anymore because I'm smart. I have it open now. Actually she would have had advantage technically as well because it's losing HP. And she will bite it for 11 piercing damage. But it is still alive. Mm hmm. Good job, Cassidy. You're doing wonders. Alana's up. Ah. My laptop just started. I wonder if I can climbing. counterspell a counterspell. You can. I honestly don't know. You but can. then you. But then someone else counterspells that counterspell, then they counterspell that counterspell. Yeah, and then everyone is down a level 3 spell. I count that as a win. It can we, we, Well, technically, your first one still goes out. All you hear in the background is the Inception. <laughs> Alright, so I'll what's Alana doing? Move him there. Can I... I can technically see him, right? Um... No. Alright. Making sure, and then I'll... Hex that guy with my bonus. Okay. And boop boop. Mm hmm. First one will hit and kill him. Oh. Alright. But since both of them were targeted at him, both the second one just fades. Pretty much, you, you hit a corpse. All right, and that's both your actions. It's Azul's turn. Azul will swim up to here. Azul is going to claw, claw, kick. Doing a grand total of 16 damage. This thing is not doing too well. Lily's turn. Lily's going to step up, swim up, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and it's going to attempt to grapple. Okay. Is he mm -hmm. successfully grappled? Mm. <laughs> yeah, he can't break three of that. Okay. And um, how does that affect my attacking? 
does not. Cool. I'm gonna smack it with my second action or second attack. <laughs> yeah. But how do you use a two-handed weapon? That's why. Actually, no, that's somebody. absolutely correct. You cannot, because that is a two-handed weapon. Okay, that's why I asked. Um, I, I, I that part slipped my mind. One-handed weapon. Yeah. In a one-handed weapon, it would work. A two-handed, you cannot. Okay. Uh, Lily is going to uh, put away her stone blade and is going to attempt to drag him. Okay. Uh, and I believe I can move half my speed. Half of your half. Yep, so one space, so I'm going to move him one space closer. Okay. Can I unarmed attack him? You may. Still raging. Mm -hmm. Yep, so you're doing... 8 damage. Okay. So that's his turn. Um, hmm. I've got a quick question. If I go up to this one, do I get some kind of plunge and attack if I were to jump down on it? I would give you advantage. Yeah. I've... Sounds good to me. I'm uh, going to plunge attack on it. So, if I would come down, would I just stand there? Yeah. Okay. So, I'll do that then. I'm going to... Cross brands. All right, you dive off the edge and just kind of bring your frostbrand down on its head as you hit the bottom. And this creature, it kind of just reels in pain, not at all expecting what you've done to it. And as you kind of kick off it as well, pulling frostbrand out, it sinks down to the depths, dead. Ladies. <laughs> uh, I should check. Which plus that was about fake. Okay, so that's my movement. I can, I, you, okay, I can clearly go under this. Um, what's the wind speed? Movement. Yeah. yeah. Movement and you don't have much left, so you can move like one square probably. Uh, unless you use cunning. So unless then I'll you get... use cunning dash, in which case you can move 20 probably. Okay. 20 feet probably, that is. I'm going to go there then. Okay. Valana's turn. Alright, this is going to be a complex round, so be patient with me. First statue. Misty step. All right, where are you teleporting to? Right there, under Lily. Okay. This is solid ground, correct? In mode, on a slope. You can hang from it. All right, would I be able to move here? Flank. Dexterity, um, acrobatics, rather. Well, at least acrobatics, not athletic. All right. Right tab here. Alright, swinging along from the, uh, you wrote athletics. Whatever. Yeah. Swinging along from the edge, you kind of just hang along the pillar there, the uh, selectite, selectite, whichever it is, and you jump off the edge, landing on the other side of the uh, marrow. Alright, and final wonderful action here, just a really complicated, I think, draw weapon. Shocking brass. Okay. <laughs> now will hit, dealing seven lightning damage. <laughs> and that'll be it. Alright, this thing. We'll try to break the hell free. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It did not break free. Oh, and I still have the other one to attack. The other one's just gonna do a thing with a thing <coughs> as it... Oh, what's it gonna try to do? It's gonna try to stab Cassidy and miss. And it's gonna try to bite Cassidy and hit for 9 piercing damage. And then it's Cassidy's turn. And Cassidy's going to om nom 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 nom. She is going to crit. Nice. Go, Darp Shark. Oh, wait. I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to. I'm going to eat its face. Uh -huh. 
She rolled shit on the damage. Plus another. No, that's. that's no, I right. rolled it all in the same roll. Yep. But it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I did it, guys. Cassidy will come over here. She will bonus action to no longer be a shark. So if you work with Cassidy. Man, I was gonna drag that guy over to Cassidy. Thank you, brother Shockbite. Shockbite, ooh ha Alright, and now it is uh, the, the Alana's turn. The I'm Alana. step up to the Alana. Alana. The Alana. Hexum. Kill him. Melissa's is what you mm -hmm. wanted to order my mm -hmm. dad? What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you missed. Well, time, that's okay, dude. I rolled really garbage on I rolled I love, two and a three. I know how you were so certain you just went kill him. <laughs> Azul is going to thankfully be able to go really far and be able to climb up on here with her movement. Like old hacks. Azul can go really far. Monsters. <laughs> she's a monk. I know. And she's going to hang it from the pillar, and with her claw, she's going to um, stab it. She's going to stab it again. Mmm. Well, she had advantage. And then she's going to kick it with a bonus action. Mm -hmm. So in grand total, she did 13, 23, 31 damage. And this thing is, like, it's damn near nearly dead. Lily's turn. Lily, punch, it, about to be fair. punch it good. Lily's going to drag it. Because okay. why not? Over to here. Half movement of half movement. So you have, like, two squares you can move. That's two squares. Two, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, just to, so that more people can hit this thing, she's gonna take out her dagger. Yeah, you don't get an attack of opportunity, no. No, because I'm moving. It. It's forcibly being moved. You don't get an attack of opportunity for that. <laughs> I'm gonna take out a dagger. Okay. And I am going to uh, fillet this guy. Okay. You're gonna gut him like a Cornish game hen. Uh, game hen. Reckless attack as well. Mm-hmm. The second one will hit, and you're able to just kind of get the dagger in around his neck, and you just rip it down through his body, and he just, blood starts to sink through the water, and he sees dead. Ah, don't let go. Don't let go of the body. I'm not letting go. I'm grappling the dude. Let's pull him out and see what he has on him. <laughs> that, though, combat is over. Um, so you should probably head for a shore. Yeah. Well, he's I'm on the shore. Climb up. Cassidy is going to doggy paddle over this far, and she is going to start casting the heal spell as soon as I get her sheet here. Andy. I just thought of something hilarious I could do right now. Probably. I Cassidy. have to boot the water walking. Yep. She is going to cast a level 2 Cure Wounds on Falan, and Falan will get 14 health back. Yeah, well, Falan is doing goddamn something bugs. Okay. You could probably Yay. climb up the uh, shore here, but you see there's another shore over here. Where? Is going to the far right, there's another shore, but you could probably try to climb up the cliff here. You'd have oh. to roll a athletics to climb up. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jeeves. Um, do I have to? Do I have I'll disadvantage while holding a dude? Yes, you do. Do I have the advantage because to... raging still? The rage would have dropped because of one turn without fighting. It hasn't been turned. You would have rage long enough to try to climb up so it'll balance out to neutral. Okay. I'm sure I'm sure she has so you'll gone. be I able to climb, climb up with some difficulty and get up to the top. Then I want to just jump in. Uh, yeah, she's got a boot to water walking on. So okay, it turns so into what's sand. what's the aura? 30 feet. So 30 feet, I said? 30 feet. Yeah. That's oh, true, you. Make sure people can see the aura. Yep. Falana, Silas, roll a deck save. I thought I was far enough away, honestly. Three no, feet. That's why I said screw you as soon as oh, I yeah. saw that. The so, lot roll next save. I think this might be the death. Right here. Oh my god. You are both able to see the sand. I like, guess Flana hits the water. The sand just kind of spreads out quickly. And you're both able to put your hands in the sand and throw yourself up onto it and not get trapped within it. Alana, by the way, you jumped 10 feet. Take four bludgeoning damage. One moment. Walk. And over Cassie here. and Azul are both going to climb onto the sand. <coughs> Bap her over the head. Can you not Roll attack. fight? 
<laughs> Lily, give me a boost. I was Lily, trying yeah. to give you guys a platform to sit on, stand on, and then I real didn't realize it was that far out over there. Lily, can you help? I was going help? to ask you to toss down a rope. This complicates just a little bit. And then hearing it's that there fine, was a don't worry. short Lily, can you... over here, I wanted to go investigate it. Lily, can you help pull me up? Lily will aid. Well, Lily is holding on to the body, so she'll put the body down, but she'll help Silas up. All so right. I get... And Silas falls in the water. Well, she's holding on to Silas now, so. Do, do, you would do have had roll. to have done some climbing up, and she already moved out of the way. Ugh. Yeah. What do you want me to roll? Roll in um, athletics. Can I do acrobatics? <laughs> this is beautiful. Does he I'm going dog? to keep doing this to you all to where Alana has the platform around her. If I she even need it. away from someone, they fall down. Yeah, you, you get up effortlessly with Lily's help. I didn't help, even need it. I didn't even need it. <laughs> Throw could, a rope down for me, please. Could I uh, look at the dead body and see what's on him? You may examine it. Okay. Do I have to roll? Uh, yeah, I'd roll an examination. Can I help in Silas instead? <laughs> I'll investigate it. Man. Investigate it, Silas. All right. Best that you can see on the body, he only has like one particular thing of note, which appears to be a small wand. I swear to God, I barely roll high today. <laughs> Apart from, like natural twenties would be it. What's uh? Can can a non spellcaster no, use wands? Rod. It's a rod, I believe. Hang on, I gotta double check. I know what it is, but I gotta see what it is. Here it is. Yeah, it is a rod. Did Falana make it up? And you probably wouldn't be able to tell what this is off the top of your head, and while all this is going on, Azul is going to take a step back, and she is going to try and bounce off the wall over here. And she is going to effortlessly backflip up onto the platform. You son of a... And Cassie is just going to slowly climb up this way, this way over here. Eh, we're going into a lot of risk, likely. I stop. She starts to climb up and she slides back down. She's going to try to climb up again and she'll get up effortlessly the second time. Right? Yeah, trying to get up because, yeah, just feeding sand. I'm not going back in. Florida oh. rolled a 14. She, can she get up? Azul, uh, 14, wait up. Get her up. Azul's coming this far. She's investigating the two. They look almost like um guard posts up here. See anything interesting? There are bed rolls in each. The fireplace here is, it's been obviously out for a while. And the, like the ceiling in this particular cave is enormously high. It probably goes up like 50, 60 feet. I'm going to check. I'm going to check the rooms. <sighs> yeah. All right. Check in the rooms. Uh, is that the investigation for roll for that? Yeah. yeah yep. All right. Yeah, so, investigating uh, the rooms. You see that there doesn't appear to be any bodies here or like the note of anyone who slept here. You get the feeling that it was probably someone more human than the marrows you were just fighting. And investigating further, you do find what looks to be a half-written, like a an excerpt from a, a journal, like a half-written, uh, like there's a page with a journal um, entry on it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it quickly. All right. This, what this says is, here we lay, straight in some cave. I've taken what men survived inland, uphill. It seems we found a way out, but it's blocked. I can't go that way. Maybe the captain was still here. I remember his last words when he went out to fight the beast that brought us here. From hell's heart, I stab at thee. <laughs> the last things he got to say before it boiled him alive. At least he gave us a chance to flee, but I wonder if all he managed to do was buy us a dry grave instead of a watery one. At least the watery grave would have been a worn one. I don't even know how he angered that beast. Oh, uh... I'll read it. I'll, I read that out loud. Dramatic. I think there's something else in here. Interesting. Hey, Alana, Alana doesn't get a rope. Alana, Alana has, has a room of flying. Rope. She does. You uh, write down that kid? Yeah. I'm fine. I was going to go investigate the other shore over there. <sighs> Do you want someone to come with you? That's kind of why I didn't get off the shore over there. Yeah, Azul, or um, Azul, Cassie, you kind of just slide down and she'll offer to go with her. Lily will okay. carefully climb down as well. Okay, Azul is I'll... just going to kind of keep going around this front way. I'll go, I'll go, Azul. Okay. okay. Flip the party. Nothing bad ever happens. Walking, 
Oh, this entire wait, pathway right. for Falana, Silas, and Azul, it's all downhill. And as you come around the corner, oh, hey, I see Lily's flame. Huh. Well, that was a, well, that was a lot of crap. I'm going to turn off the uh, aura for... Cool. Please do. I'm now so switching you to... Just impatient. My fiery greatsword. All right. However... And... The cave is like... It's a very... There's moss all over the walls of the cave. You can just... The water is very obvious. This entire area seems to be flooded to some extent. You just Does... kind of keep going along the ways. And we're letting, like, Lily go first, Azul and Cassidy are, because Lily going first makes the most sense. Yep. Does uh, it appear that this might be tidal or anything like that? Not that you can see. Okay. Like, you know you're not, like, super far away from the ocean, but you're not that close either. And as Lily, you turn around, you see there is a massive shipwreck just the sitting ocean. on the water. The shipwreck might be damming the water. And uh, get closer and you look around, you don't, like, looking at it, and you notice first, like, Azul will kind of walk up and question, it's like, how did this ship get here? She looks up and it's like, again, it's like 50, 60 feet up, but it's like a, a sheer wall. There's no, like, in, like, clear way you can see that the ship would have got, like, sailed in or what have you. There's no real indication of how this ship got here. Must have sailed, must have sailed uh, in the aura back. What if it was brought in from underwater? Perhaps there's a passageway. Um, silver. Yes. Damage on the ship. Is what are you asking? Does it look like it was crushed? It's is, in two pieces. First of all, Jeeps. What are you asking? Is my uh, light the correct distance? Is it at sixty feet instead of one hundred and twenty? I gave my goggles to Silas. Your normal sight range is at sixty feet. Okay. Uh, do I see this? I'm going to say in the far distance, you can't really make it out. You just see another... P Actually, no, you won't see it because the ship's in the way. The ship comes up far enough. Okay. But you do uh, see that there looks to be like a little passageway over here from that distance. You can see that there is a passageway over here. Alani, you turning the wa boots of water walking back on? Yep. All right, I'm giving you the order back. Azul will kind of look around here. She'll poking down in this way real quick before the sand disappears to investigate this path. Well, he's going with her. Yep. Cassidy wanna... will like, walk Cassidy. around here just investigating I'm... the ship. I'm going to investigate the ship. Yeah. Um, Lily, as you come down to that passageway, roll a uh, perception. Okay. Mm-hmm. Looks mm -hmm. like a dead Lana end. can roll it as well. If Lana can roll it as well, and I'm going to have Azul roll it too. Christ. Mm. Azul didn't see shit. Falana, on the ground, hidden about here, and it's like covered in moss, so it's not the easiest thing to see. You see that there is what appears to be a necklace of some sort. Um, you going to walk over here? Silver, I'm going to roll yeah, lucky. I'm go ahead. Yep. All right, the necklace, as you go over there and grab it and you pick it up, you see that it's a more like an amulet and it's like a golden chain of an amulet and like on the little the thing that hangs down from it there are a number of small gemstones um let's see there is a ruby an emerald a sapphire a topaz a diamond and an onyx what gems did we find on that stone earlier that circle the one you found earlier that you did not investigate you found a sapphire a diamond, a corndom, and an emerald. Well, I'm just going to pocket this for now. She'll investigate it later. Alright, so just put down gem necklace. Yep. Okay. Put it in my character sheet. Alright, and Silas is investigating the ship. You discover that this ship, in the hold, particularly in the front of it, and let me just do a little bit of shenaniganry. Shenanigans? I don't like shenanigans. Oh, God. Inside the ship. That's the shenanigans. Inside the ship, um, on the bottom deck, it's flooded as it is. You discover that there are a lot, like an incredibly high number of just strange-looking flasks which are leaking water all over the ship. The leaking water? Yes. Can we turn um, them upright so they're not leaking? You can try, yes. I'm gonna grab one of the, I'm gonna grab one of these and I'm gonna just 
empty it out. And you lift it up and you turn it over to empty it out. And it does eventually empty out and stop dripping. But from the size of the flask, it does not look like it should have held nearly that much water. Can Azul get on the sand so I can move? Yeah. Just take it on Azul to hop on before it's too late. Azul's, sorry. Azul ran up here. Hey, kids, want to take a look at this? Uh, let me in here. Mm-hmm. I'll line it well. to... Elena, uh, Alana. Azul, get down here and look, look, look at things around. Oh, for Alana, um, I see how it is. And Azul is going to be investigating around herself, just looking through the various shattered flasks. Doing that to check out the flasks. Mm-hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... The flasks... I'm going gonna... to have... Well. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give you advantage on it because there's so many of them, so Alana and Falana are both going to get this information pretty easily. You recognize these objects. They're actually a rather common. Like, it's not actually a common magical item, but it's not that uncommon. But these are decanters of endless water, but shattered and pretty much useless because of it. Yeah. All right. Um, Interesting. Uh, can we check? Maybe see if we can find an unbroken one? Do we uh, already we have one? Don't, no, I don't think we have one, do we? We don't. I remember. I remember Sue were bringing up earlier that he, we did Somebody not have one. Inventory. I don't think we have it. one. Nope, we don't. Um, but do you want to pull Gavis just for a quick investigation? Yeah, we could all investigate, I guess. And Azul investigates around. She kind of pokes her finger down. She pulls it back, um, sucking on her finger, which she obviously cut herself on a bit of broken glass. Lily totally found one. Mm-hmm. Lily totally found one. She found the best one. Falana, however, you are able to find an intact uh, one of the decanters of endless water in t- intact. What about me? <laughs> you found the same one. Actually, Azul okay. found the same one as well, but she cut her finger in the process. Good job. Um, can Lily see this now? As you get closer and you see it, um, roll perception checks for me. And um, everyone, please stop moving. Okay, oh, sorry. Back uh, here. Stop, yeah. stop. stop. Yep. Also, uh, I'm just trying put... to stay on the sand. I found it. Found someone, it put, someone put uh, the Tikana in the party loot. <laughs> Creighton, you're going to be able to pick out a lot of details as you look at this. The first thing you notice is that the skeleton that is kind of hanging from this stalactite, he's just kind of like sitting there resting. His The clothing he's wearing, it looks to be rather ornate, and he is just bone at this point as though all the flesh was boiled off his body. In his hand there is a rapier. An extremely fine and impressive looking rapier. Watch watch my back, I'm gonna have a quick look at this. Hold up. Well, Mage hand. Mage hand. I'm gonna I'm I wanna check out the actual body, so Yeah, let's let's get the weapon away from him first. It's a lot no, like it, Mage hands the rapier? All right, so Alana, you use Mage Chin on the rapier, and as you do so, the skeleton falls into the water. Everything oh, around oh, the water right starts to lift up massively, and the spray of water knocks the rapier out of the Mage Hand's grip and into the water. It, the skeleton shouldn't have fallen into the water because the sand's right there. The sand is right there. Mm-hmm. It, sh- it fell, and then it, parts of it fell into the water. Can I make can I make a dex to quickly run over there and try and grab it? Well, the rapier uh, should be on the sand anyways, right? The rapier, yes. The rapier would have landed on the sand then, but this entire area around that area, like water is being lifted up, the sand is being thrown up as well. Um, let's get on to... Dry land? Dry land. Yep, so, and uh, as you run over to dry land you see a massive form erupt out from the water, just pushing the sand away as though it doesn't even care about it. Oh. Is that a terrestrial? That's a dragon no. turtle. It's a dragon okay. turtle. That is bad. <laughs> oh Not my. as bad as a relative term. That's bad. We're good. <laughs> so that's why you don't you didn't like it that we ruined your trap. <laughs> All right. Well, it was finish. close. It was a close thing. If Alana was a little closer, it would have been better off. But there was just enough for it to fall the wrong way. Like if she was one square further up, it probably yeah. would have been fine. 
Loki. Um, and as this thing bursts out of the water and like the sand, as though it's not even a, it doesn't even care about the sand. It just looks at the party, and snorts, and you can feel an intense heat coming from its mouth. Cool. Roll initiatives. I roll. I'm a not good. Nature check. You can roll a nature check, but roll initiatives. 